What's up YouTube world? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Daniel H9. We will be cleaning and taking down the firearm to show you guys how to disassemble the firearm so you can get to the integral pieces to make sure you keep your gun running in optimal condition. So we're going to be referencing the owner's manual to make sure we touch up on the different lubrication points. I'll also show you how to take down the firearm. Now we're about 500 rounds into uh, this brand new firearm. So right about around a thousand rounds, you guys will see my thousand round review. But we gotta get this thing cleaned up to keep it in optimal shape. You don't want any of that gunk to get all gunked up, okay? Um, to prevent any stove pipes, any jams, any malfunction. So we're gonna keep this thing clean. So first, let's make sure we have a clean and empty, safe direction. Firearm, there's no magazine in the firearm. We are safe and we are ready to start. So the functionality, uh, if you guys can see these little pins right here, we're gonna be pulling downwards on these pins. Now in order to do that, you gotta get a pull back your slide a little bit and you wanna pull down on these. That's your slide release, okay? And then that's how you're gonna be able to get access to your housing unit. Uh, in here you can see the trigger system, uh, that's your magwell. And then you can see the inlay where the barrel goes on the other side of the slide. Okay. You can see that very, very, very strong Daniel defense spring. And one thing that's a little bit different I'll show you guys about this spring is it has a little notch right there. Okay. So just make sure when you're putting that notch back in, you put it notch side down. All right. So we're going to get the spring taken care of. Uh, for the barrel, you just want to tilt it. It comes out just like a barrel comes out. Okay, so now you have access to the actual slide itself. Now you have access um, to the frame, and this is where we're going to be cleaning thoroughly and also um, being able to uh, reach all of those application points for our gun loop. All right, so let's talk about where are we once we get it clean. I'm not going to clean the whole firearm for time. Um, hopefully, you guys know how to clean a firearm, but let's talk about where we're going to be applying our gun loop. Okay, so we're going to be applying our gun loop all throughout that insert for the slide. Okay, we're going to be applying our gun loop here. Uh, we're going to be applying our gun loop here and here on the barrel. We're going to clean thoroughly the spring and on the spring as well. I like to run my guns very wet. We're also going to be applying the gun loop here. We're going to be applying the gun loop here. We're going to be applying the gun loop here, here, just a dot. We're going to be applying the gun loop here. And we're going to be applying the gun loop here and here. All right. So I'm not going to show you guys the whole entire thing only because I want to save you guys the time. I'm sure you guys know how to clean your firearm. Um, hopefully you guys have like your gun cleaner, your lubricant, your go-to stuff that you like to use. If it really gets gunky, um, you get like a high performance gun cleaner and take care of it. And then from there you can put in your precision oil. If you don't want to do all that, just get you a one step and it has everything in it that you need. The gun lube, the cleaner, the protectant, um, all in one. All right, so let's go ahead and put our firearm back together for you guys. Okay, so we're going to go barrel side down. Slides in like so. Okay, uh, now remember this notch on the spring has to go down. Okay. All right. And we are going to put our firearm back together. And we are back and ready for business, people. All right, that's it. Daniel H9, that's how you take it down. Hope you guys are having fun out there and being safe on the range, but this one is a beauty. Keep your guns cleaned and lubed up, guys. Be safe.